So guys, why is list price versus sales price such an important number to know and master in your market? Here's the answer to that. Because with buyers and sellers, they need to understand that when they're making offers, this number will have impact. And when they're accepting offers, this number will have impact. And I'm going to give you an example. Every buyer wants to get a great deal, right? Every buyer wants to feel like they're beating the market. So when we sit with a buyer, we need to educate them about what's happening in the marketplace. For instance, in my market today, sellers are receiving on average 99% of list price. Some are getting much more. They're getting 105 or 106% of list price, but the average in our market is 99%. So with a buyer, what I'll say to them at the beginning of the relationship is, hey, you know, many homes sell for full price in our current market or even over full price, but the average is 99%. The key is to see how aggressively the sellers price the home compared to other listings in the area. The more aggressive they are in price, the more offers and showings they'll receive and the higher they'll go probably over full price. So now I'm educating them that some buyers price based on what I call frenzy pricing. They actually underprice the property to drive people over the full price. And that's a common strategy today. Now one of the seller, sellers are tending to get a little bit greedy right now. I need to have a script for that. How do I deal with a greedy seller? Well, sellers like all human beings, want to feel like they win and they want to feel like they've won up to the market, right? They want to feel like they left nothing on the table. And there's a study that was done about wealth in America, actually wealth in the world. And the question was, um, does wealth make you happier? <laughs> and the answer, according to a study of 16 different countries, all kinds of ethnicity, all kinds of, you know, economic socio status, the answer universally was yes. <laughs> wealth does make you happier, but it's not what you think. Here's what they meant. They meant, the people being interviewed, that they just wanted to be a little bit wealthier than their neighbor. They didn't need to be super wealthy, just a little bit more than their neighbor. And that would make them feel really good. That's the same with every seller in the marketplace. That's why this number is so powerful. When I say to the seller, hey, we received an offer at 101%, I'm going to put it in percentage, 101% of list price, that's two full points over what average sellers are receiving in this market. Great job. Now I'm stroking their ego. They beat their neighbor, which is what's most important. Frame it up like that. Don't frame it in any other way. Frame it up that they just won the market and you will be a winner. So if you want some more ideas like that, you want to really dive into the market, dive into lead generation, have more listings, have more buyers, receive more referrals, check out our path performance coaching system over at eRoyal Estate Coach. It's two full weeks of coaching absolutely free just to come in and test drive the system we're going to give you 150 coaching sessions a year in that system live coaching sessions 16 weeks of intensive coaching when you start and we're going to give you hundreds and hundreds of downloads really to get you fired up and systemize your business and really take you to the next level so check it out over there eRealEstateCoach.com, the path performance coaching two weeks of free coaching we'll see you next time right here and have a great day and good selling